so for Michaelis Menten kinetics, we're going to start with your basic reaction. You start off with the enzyme and the substrate, they're not bound, and they can get bound to form the ES complex. The ES complex can either get unbound via that reaction that reverse reaction, or it can form E plus P, which means your catalyzed reaction actually happened. There are three reactions, K1, K-1, K2. Those are the rate constants for those three specific reactions. And what you want to remember is the higher your rate constant is, the faster your reaction rate will be. So from lecture, we have the Michaelis-Menten equation, which is K2 times enzyme total times your concentration of substrate. And then you're going to divide this by the Michaelis constant plus concentration of substrate. One assumption that we're going to make is that your Vmax is when 100% of your enzyme is in the ES complex. So is in ES complex. So what we say is that Vmax equals K2 times your total amount of enzyme. Rewriting the equation for V0, what you want to remember is that this K2ET is really Vmax. Okay? So there's two important things to take a look at. Vmax and Km. Okay? So a Vmax is, is basically the higher your Vmax is, the higher your velocity tends to be. And then with two, Km. Km is a constant that pretty much measures the affinity between the enzyme and the substrate. And the better your bonding between, or the greater the affinity between the enzyme and the substrate, um, the more likely the enzyme is to catalyze the substrate and you know achieve your desired catalytic reaction. So one thing, so first thing to remember is that S equals Km when your Vmax or when your velocity equals half of the maximum velocity. And what I remember is if you have a higher Km, it's tougher to reach Vmax, okay? So it's tougher to reach Vmax and that's not what you want out of an enzyme, okay? It's going to be not very good for an enzyme. Number two, the algebraic definition or the really mathematical definition, we have K minus one, K2 divided by K1. Essentially what that means is that the interactions between the enzyme and the substrate are going to be governed by those three reactions in the top left corner. K1 plus K2 or K minus one, K2, K1. Those govern the speeds of those three reactions. And the third assumption is what we're gonna deal with most of the times. So we're going to say if K minus one is significantly greater than K2, okay? What this means is that the second step is very slow. It's your rate determining step. The catalytic step is the one that's the rate determining step. What ends up happening is that Km is going to approach K minus one, which is your rate of dissociation, over your rate of association. In lecture, we call this Ks. It's the equilibrium constant for the dissociation. And what this means is if you have a low Km, that means a high affinity, okay? So if you have a low Km, that means a high affinity of enzyme for substrate. So you raise the affinity of E for substrate. And the higher your affinity of the enzyme for the substrate, you know, the better your enzyme is. Because at the end of the day, the enzyme needs to bind the substrate. And when it binds the substrate, you have the chance for actual catalysis. On the other hand, if Km is high, you have a low affinity between or of E for S, and then the worse the enzyme is. Because if you can't bind it, then you can't catalyze the reaction.